Hello, welcome to Craig's Gun Channel. This week, we're going to cover the Phoenix Arms HP-22. Phoenix Arms opened in 1991 with the intent of serving the budget firearms market, and in 1994 they developed and began producing the HP series in 22 long rifle and 25 ACP. By utilizing cost-conscious manufacturing techniques and materials, they were able to produce an affordable firearm that performs much better than price would imply. These are direct blowback pistols that feature a single action trigger, exposed hammer, beaver tail back strap to help prevent hammer bite, and a staggered magazine which holds 10 rounds in 22 long rifle or 9 rounds for the 25 ACP. It has a 3 inch barrel and is available in a satin nickel or matte black finish, and an optional 5 inch barrel is available. It is an economy class firearm, and fit and finish generally reflect that. However, the overall appearance is generally positive, and operationally it works very well. The street price is generally around $150, providing a lot of value for the money. Let's take a closer look. As always, first step would be to do a safety check of the firearm. So we'll go ahead and open it up. As we can see, the chamber is clear. There is no ammunition in the firearm. Remove the magazine. The magazine is free and clear. So, now we can go over the uh, design and operation control features of the Phoenix Arms HP-22. First we have the trigger. It is a single action only trigger. The magazine release. We have the frame mounted safety. A slide mounted safety. External hammer. And this is the takedown latch or lever right there for disassembly. The frame mounted safety is also a manual slide release. If you pull the slide back, you can lock it back using the safety. There is no automatic slide lock on this, so it's a manual one only. And then of course, pulling it down would release the slide. Now one thing to note, the frame mounted safety and the magazine release are interconnected on uh, this firearm. What that means essentially is you cannot remove the magazine, you, you cannot press the button in until you put it on safe. And conversely, once it's on safe, you can't take it off of safe and put it on fire until you put a magazine in it. So I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. As you can see, you cannot push the button down. And we're on fire here, it says fire. If we put it on safe, it now says safe up there. Now you can now you can push the magazine release, release the magazine. Now, of course, you cannot now pull the safety down to put it in the fire position. You have to first put a magazine in, then you can pull the lever down to put it on fire. And as before, of course, now the magazine release is locked. So those are interconnected. It does take a little bit of getting used to because uh, it's a little bit different manual of arms than you have with most pistols. And it uh, is a little bit of a challenge to get used to at first, uh, but once you've mastered it, it's not that big of an issue. And uh, so there's just, uh, just that to be aware of. Uh, this firearm also has a slide mounted safety right here. The little red dot means it is uh, on fire. So uh, if you uh, cock the hammer back and pull the trigger, it would be able to fire a cartridge if, if one was in there. If you move the lever down, now that is on safe, and essentially what it does is it locks the firing pin on the inside, so even should the hammer be cocked and the trigger pulled, the hammer will fall, however, the firing pin is locked, so the firearm would still not go off. So you have the two safeties on there. So that's how those controls uh, work. So now let's uh, take a look at the disassembly uh, of the firearm itself. So first of all, this takedown lever, you basically will be pushing forward on that. When you push forward on that, it unlocks the barrel and the barrel will be able to pivot up and then you can remove it. Now to when the barrel pivots up, the slide, because of the the fit there, how that goes together, the slide has to come back slightly to give it room for the barrel to be able to pivot. Now, you would be working against the pressure of not only the recoil spring, 
but the hammer. So really the easiest thing to do would be to first go ahead and cock the hammer back. That relieves that spring tension off the slide and makes it easier to work. Then you can go ahead and put it on safe and remove the magazine. Now with the magazine removed, the slide will still be able to come back far enough for disassembly. It wouldn't be far enough to uh, cock the or load the firearm, uh, but for disassembly purposes it comes back far enough. So the next step, you go ahead and push that lever forward and it just goes forward a little bit. Then you can unlock the barrel so the barrel will come up. Pull the slide back and you can pull the barrel out. Now on the inside there's the recoil spring. It is not a captive spring and it can get away from you. It, that ledge right here that's part of the slide, if the spring pops above that uh, it will basically just launch itself into space and then you have to go searching for a spring. Uh, I, I know that from experience. Uh, I've had to, to go hunting for that on several occasions. So just, just be aware of that. So you might want to keep that covered up a bit while you do uh, anything further. So the next step you would then need to pull the slide back a little bit and that allows it We'll go ahead and get the spring out here. This is the locking piece with the spring. Here's the slide. The slide itself, the, the rails on the slide right there and right here, engage on these little rail sections on the frame right there and right there. So basically it would be like that. So you just have to just lift it up a little bit and it comes right out. So on the frame itself, this is your ejector right there. Of course you have the, the hammer. This cross piece here is what this locking piece goes on and it goes underneath that. So it would be in that position there and that's what locks the, the barrel. You can you can just barely uh, see it right there a little bit. Those two little tabs that go back and forth. And they will engage into this little section right here on the barrel. This back part right here engages onto a pin that's right there. So basically this would go on to the pin and pivot down like that and then that locking piece would lock into those front tabs and that's what locks it into place. Now this is as far as you really want to disassemble the frame. So you basically just clean everything off real good in there, you know, wipe, wipe it all down, scrub out any debris or any, anything that's in there, a light coating of oil uh, just to, to help operation. Uh, the barrel the same way. You'd want to clean the all the, the slide surfaces. Clean it on the inside and out. Make sure the feed ramp itself right here, which is integral to the barrel, make sure that's clear and uh, nice and clean. On the slide we have the extractor right there. It is an external extractor. So you'd want to clean the the rail surfaces. Clean out everything on the inside. That uh, ejector rides in this channel right here so you want to make sure all that's cleaned out and then of course you want to clean the bolt face right here so basically just clean everything up and then a light coating of oil and everything reassembly uh, what I found is it's a little easier if you just go ahead and take the spring off of the locking piece at first so we'll get the frame here we'll put the locking piece in its place Get the slide, put the rails onto the lugs in the back, and then down, so then we have our slide there. At this point, get the spring and put it on the locking piece, and then you'll push the spring in and down so it goes back on that little ledge. So we're like that. Now you want to put your finger over that a bit to hold it in place and then pull the slide back. 
and then that allows you to then put the barrel in to engage that pin and then you pull the let the barrel go down and push it down until you hear it click and that's where it's locked that slide piece the locking piece should go all the way to the back and then you want to make sure that the barrel is locked so it's not going anywhere at this point go ahead and put the magazine back in take it off safe then you can function check it make sure everything works and we're reassembled As mentioned, the manual of arms dictated by the interlock safety and magazine takes some getting used to. However, it's not uncommon for it to remain as a sticking point for some people. Luckily, it is easy to modify this pistol to remove the interconnection and make it function more like a traditional safety. I hope that this information is of value, and if you like the video, I would ask that you hit the like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see more like this. I value your comments and feedback, and as always, until next week, Stay safe.